05 Toyota Highlander with a 3.3 liter V6 engine, 3MZ FE engine, and I've owned this car since new. This cover's been on for 19 years, but I'm taking it off and leaving it off. I'm not going to put it back on. The reason is because I recently replaced the connectors on the ignition coils on the front bank and the rear bank underneath the intake manifold. And the condition of the connectors, front bank versus rear bank, is huge. So let's look at that. Now, when I received the kit, these wires were plugged into the connectors that are now on my car, but rather than splice these wires into my existing wiring on the car, I made the decision just to pull these wires out of the new connectors and plug the existing wiring into the new connectors. And the connectors on my car, these are the three from the rear bank. The tabs did break, the locking tabs, but the rest of the connectors, the plastic is in good shape, pretty solid. The three connectors on the front bank that were underneath the cover, that's what's left of them. And the plastic is so brittle that you can literally break it apart with your hands. So the only thing I can attribute the difference in condition between the three on the rear bank and the three on the front bank is that these were underneath the cover and exposed to higher heat because the cover was trapping in heat. Even though it had vents on it, it still got hotter on that front bank than it did on the rear with air circulating around these connectors, I would imagine. So having the cover on top of that front bank and on top of these connectors, that's the difference. That has to be what contributed to them becoming so brittle that they just literally fell apart in my hands as I was installing the new connectors. So I think that's a reasonable assumption to make that the heat trapped in by this cover, that led to the deterioration of the plastic becoming so brittle that it broke apart. The difference that we saw between the connectors on the front bank and the rear bank, the only difference between the two is that these in the front were covered, but no longer. Unless somebody can give me a good reason to have that cover on, mine is staying off. And up here top left, I'll put a link to the video showing how I replaced these connectors.